This case considered the issue of tax avoidance and whether or not a company's decision to move an investment overseas to obtain a higher net return was carried out for the dominant purpose of obtaining a tax benefit and whether or not the tax anti-avoidance provisions applied. In this case, a company invested money in the Cook Islands and received a rate of interest lower than Australia. But because of the lower tax rates, the net return on the investment was greater. The Commissioner sought to assess the company on the interest earned on the basis that the income had a source in Australia. The company argued that the income was not assessable because it had a source outside Australia and furthermore that the dominant purpose was to invest the sum of money for a satisfactory rate of return. The Commissioner argued, however, that the main reason why the money was invested overseas was to obtain a tax benefit, and that therefore the tax anti-avoidance provisions applied. The central issue for the High Court was whether or not the dominant purpose for investing the money overseas was to obtain a tax benefit. The court ultimately